Hi guys, my name is Nate Eisenthal and um, I'm doing a presentation on the Norman Brinker case um, for my organizational behavior class with Professor Ladd. So a little background on the case. So Norman Brinker um, was an icon within the restaurant industry. Um, he has been looked at as one of the best entrepreneurs, pioneers, visionaries, and mentors within the restaurant industry. He began working at restaurants at a young age and then falling in love within the industry. He had a passion for growing, learning, um, and many other things, which ended up earning himself the title of president of Pillsbury. Following Pillsbury, he started Brinker International, which is what the case was about. Brinker International had a stacked resume of restaurants like Chili's, Macaroni Grill, Maggiano's, and many, many more. So going into the questions about the case, first question was, in what ways was Norman Brinker a manager and a leader? Brinker acted as a manager by managing and leading several companies to what we know them as today, like Pillsbury. He also found himself to be one that surrounded himself with people who believed in themselves as well as the mission. As far as being a leader goes, he had multiple qualities that served as a reason for why so many people looked up to him. First one I'm going to hit on was his integrity. When I think of integrity, I think of an honest person who stays true to who they are. And that is something that after reading the case, I could easily tell that Norman really possessed that. Next was his passion. Norman had passion and drive for the task at hand and wanted to do it to the best of his ability. This was something that not only fuels himself, but it fuels the people around him. And lastly was his commitment. He wanted to make sure that the dining experience for the customers was second to none. He didn't want to give them a reason to not come back, but rather that was the sole reason for his success was his customer service, being able to service those and give them exactly what they were wanting. So the second question was, describe the nature of followership for, that Norman Brinker sought to develop at Brinker International. Norman Brinker sought out people who were quote unquote terrific individuals who strive to do better and continue success. I think that when Norman acquires these people, he looks to find people that resemble himself and ones that he can mentor up. So the one that the case really talked about was Ron McDougall, who was one of Norman's prodigies that ended up taking over Brinker International at the CEO spot. He said that McDougal was, in quotes, one of the strongest, most visionary individuals who is also a born leader and builder. So now moving into the third question. What skills would you personally need to develop to become a leader like Norman Brinker? So after reading the case, I think one of the biggest things that stood out to me um, in Norman Brinker that um, would be something that I would love to acquire would be um, the attribute of wanting more. It feels as if I am a great leader when it comes to accomplishing a task um, to its fullest, but where I struggle is uh, when the task is completed, I'm, I'm really not sure where to go. So after reading this case, it was as if Brinker always wanted more and always found uh, room for improvements. Some things I could do to help develop those skills um, would be to think more outside the box and more futuristic. Um, thinking about where it could go in the long run rather than just completing the task that was given to me. And then the last question um, that we're going to hit on today was, what do you think is the most important leadership lesson in this case? I think the most important leadership lesson that I took out of this case from Norman Brinker was that showing the people around you um, your drive and passion for the project um, can be something that is contagious um, and is something that people can feed off daily um, to help increase um, their drive and passion for it, and then um, overall benefiting the company in a great way. Um, it really allows for the ones around you to develop that same passion and hopefully um, can lead to a, a goal that's above and beyond of what you thought was possible. Um, overall, this has been a pleasure to learn about Norman Brinker. Um, he is one that I will not only look up to in terms of leadership and manageability, but just um, in life as well. Um, so thank you so much for listening. Um, again, my name is Nate Eisenthal, and this was a presentation um, for my organizational behavior class with Professor Ladd. Thanks.